Hi everyone, this is the Santorini Dave Guide to Where to Stay in Thessaloniki. Thessaloniki is Greece's second largest city with a rich history and culture. There are ancient ruins everywhere here, and layers upon layers from previous eras are built on top of one another. One thing that makes it special is the strong culinary tradition, and Thessaloniki has been designated by UNESCO as a city of gastronomy. It's been said that the city also has one of the highest concentrations of cafes per capita of anywhere in Europe, with one on seemingly every corner in the city center. In addition to being a great place to visit, it's also a good base for exploring northern Greece and can be paired with other popular destinations, including the gorgeous mountain monasteries of Meteora and the ancient history of Delphi. Now, before we go any further, know that everything featured in this video, plus in-depth travel guides to Athens, Santorini, Mykonos, Crete, and many other Greek destinations can be found on our site at santorinidave.com and scattered across this YouTube channel. The Thessaloniki waterfront that stretches the length of the city includes a very long and lovely seaside promenade. There are a handful of boat tours for tourists that operate along the waterfront. Here, you'll find Thessaloniki's signature landmark, the White Tower, which over the years has served as a fortress, a prison, and a university workshop. Today, it hosts a museum, and tourists climb to the top for wonderful views of the city and out over the water. A few blocks down, Aristotle Square is considered the most central spot of the city, surrounded by top hotels, restaurants, cafes, and shopping. The square frequently hosts popular events, on this summer weekend, it was a beach volleyball tournament. Other highlights to visit include the Arch of Galerius and the Rotunda. The Rotunda is a massive and impressive cylindrical structure with six meter thick walls. Originally designed as a grave, over the years it was converted into a church, then a mosque, and back to a church, with centuries-old frescoes inside that survive to this day. Just outside, you'll find the Arch of Galerias, or Camara, another city landmark constructed in 305 AD to celebrate and commemorate the final victory of the Romans over the Persians. Another nearby landmark in the city center is the Church of Hagia Sophia, among the oldest and most important churches in Thessaloniki, built in the 8th century following the architectural design of the Church of Hagia Sophia in modern-day Istanbul. The church was once converted into a mosque, then centuries later back into a church, and over the years has survived various fires and earthquakes. Today, most of the church has been beautifully restored. One good plan to explore the city is to take a taxi to the castle ruins at the top of the hill, with breathtaking views overlooking the entire city below. From there, it's fun to walk back down through local neighborhoods, stopping along the way for a cold beverage or snack in any one of the many cafes and visiting some of the main sites. The city is also home to a handful of excellent museums, including the Archaeological Museum of Thessaloniki, the Macedonian Museum of Contemporary Art, the Byzantine Museum, and the Jewish Museum of Thessaloniki. All are located in the downtown area and reachable on foot. All of the best hotels in Thessaloniki are centrally located and within walking distance of the city's key attractions and main shopping and dining district. Let's take a look at some of our favorites. Five Star Electra Palace is the best hotel in the city, in a fabulous location overlooking Aristoteles Square, surrounded by trendy bars and restaurants. There are two swimming pools, one indoor and one outdoor on the rooftop, and this hotel has luxurious rooms. Dios Luxury Living along the waterfront has amazing views, and some rooms have terrific balconies to enjoy. The Excelsior is a trendy boutique hotel along Metropolios, a busy shopping street that runs through the heart of downtown. Mediterranean Palace just in front of the ferry terminal has terrific waterfront views. The elegant Capsus Bristol sits on a central square and is also very close to the ferry terminal and surrounded by buzzing cafes and restaurants. Egnatia Palace is an excellent hotel in a central location with the airport bus outside the front door and the best accommodation choices in the city for families. An Antigon Urban Chic Hotel with a very contemporary stylish design even has a glass floor in the restaurant underneath which you can see partially excavated ruins. 
Thessaloniki has many excellent restaurants to enjoy, most of which are clustered in the heart of downtown near the water. Here are a few of our favorites. Mama Luca is open and airy and serves classic local fare with a mix of seafood, meat, and vegetables. Around the corner, Grada Nuevo, an upscale dining experience, has some of the freshest and best seafood in town. Expect fabulous service with elegant ambiance. Along the waterfront, Critico serves fancy seafood dishes with sunset views out over the port. It's a great spot for a later afternoon or a sunset drink with oysters or other snacks or for late night dining. Mezen on a narrow alleyway has creative meze plates and serves fresh and delicious traditional Greek dishes. And Lupino, with a live and festive atmosphere, is another popular spot with an open-air kitchen and dining area that extends out into the street. Getting around Thessaloniki is relatively easy, and there's really no reason to rent a car. Sightseeing can be done on foot, as most sites are located within walking distance from downtown and each other. Taxis are readily available, and there are public buses throughout the downtown area. The port of Thessaloniki is the largest port in Macedonia, and one of the largest ports all over Greece. There is a ferry connection between this port and the Kiklades and Sporadis Islands. It's possible to take a ferry between Athens and Thessaloniki, but not the most efficient way to get between the two cities. You can easily reach Thessaloniki by train from many places on the Greek mainland, including Athens, which takes around four hours. There's also an international airport with daily flights from Athens and some European capitals, including nearby Istanbul. Check out our other great travel guides that cover where to stay, eat, and go for popular destinations across Greece, including Athens, Santorini, Mykonos, Crete, Milos, Paros, Naxos, and more at SantoriniDave.com and across this YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more super useful travel videos about Greece and beyond from SantoriniDave.com. Thanks for watching.